Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, Quick Hitter Edition. We're going out to the city of brotherly love and the Garden State uh, to discuss what I'm told is a promotion in the Bruno Scarfo crime family. New acting consigliere of that Borgata is Anthony Stano. Um, another part of this narrative that seems to be what what's old is actually new what's new is actually old in um how the hierarchy of the philadelphia mafia is being put together in the 2020s um stano has been pretty inactive for the last decade plus uh went to prison uh, for about eight years 2011 to 2019 and really hasn't been very active since he got out until i'm told uh around 2023 when he was kind of being brought back into the fold a lot of this is prompted by all the controversy with the skinny joey merlino podcast and social media influencing gig that he jumped in full board last summer rankled some members of the new york mafia asking for a remodel um if they wanted to continue to do business with philly i'm told that everything was kind of worked out between January and uh, spring and not anything huge, but uh, a couple of nips and tucks. Merlino right now, we've talked about it before, is according to my reporting, he is really just boss in title right now. It's more of a ceremonial position, allowed to give counsel and opinion if he wants, but has no really oversight of um, policy or any day-to-day -day or even general stuff that's going on in that family. That's all been ceded, I'm told, to Georgia Boy Borghese, Uncle Joe Bagambi, and uh, Joe uh, Mousy, Mousy Massimino, who is the old underboss that's now the new underboss. Stano was briefly the underboss under Legambi when he was acting boss in the 2000s before he went to prison. Um, Mousy was his underboss uh, throughout the first part of that 2000s run by Legambi. And Legambi's also been very uh, integral in getting everything copacetic and, and making sure that everybody was back on the same page. The New York guys did not, or were of the opinion and are of the opinion that what Merlino was doing or what he is doing was setting a bad precedent. That's neither here nor there from us. I'm just, again, reporting on what I've been told, uh, Merlino doesn't really want anything to do with the day to day. So, he, he kind of, you were you weren't asking much of somebody that didn't want to be a part of it, and I'm told might have given it up before there was even you know issues brought to the forefront between New York and Philadelphia. But Stano, at first, I'm told, was assigned by Legambi and Borghese and Mousy as a official representario to New York City to go uh, meet with the families in New York. Uh, through the winter, and at some point in the spring, he was transitioned to acting conciliary, and the plan is for Uncle Joe to finally be able to go into retirement at some time in the near future. Uh, he's been trying to get out of the game for about five years and just has not been able to. He's going to be 85, I believe, um, in a month or two. Still very, very sharp. I'd have way more comfort with him running our country than our current president, but that's neither here nor there. Um, and that's, I'm half joking. Uh, so it looks like Stano will be the conciliary at an official capacity soon and will be one of the people guiding this family into the future. Um, you know, this is a guy that's uh, a lot of the, the, the 2000 guys, um, opposed to that core Merlino group. They're a quieter group, uh, more understated, more low key, more mild mannered, and uh, a little bit more polished. Anthony Stano, you know, was the the self-admitted chief financial officer of of the Bruno Scarfo crime family at one point. So he's very smart. His uh, uncle was a uh, former old, you know, old school Philadelphia mob guy, New Jersey mob guy, Junior Stano, who uh, came up in the Bruno and Scarfo regimes. So, I mean, this is, you know, this is just being pragmatic. And uh, it looks like the Philadelphia mafia family is, you know, has steadied the ship and are past kind of the choppy waters and it's a credit to Borghese and Mousy, Uncle Joe Stano, and let's not forget, um, kind of a 
sleeper in in that whole scenario, from my reporting, Phil Narducci um, was was pretty critical in in getting everyone um, back in line. I'm told, uh, and was doing a lot of politicking with New York uh, on behalf of of Legambi and uh, Stephen Mazzone in prison and Georgie and those guys. Even though he is, again, it's well known, not a big Joey Merlino fan, but uh, for the sake of the family, and, and I think a lot of bygones have been bygones because. Phil uh, Narducci was at uh, Merlino's mom's funeral last year. So everyone's kind of more back on the same page as, as they have been in the in the past, at least in the past six months. And I think Anthony Stano, from what I'm told, is a big reason why and why there's a lot of faith in him moving forward. OG Pod, I'm Scott Bernstein. Out. Mm-hmm.